Okay guys, I will get this out somehow. All right, bear with me. Um, okay, where are we? This one? Am I live here, guys? Okay, I need to go into... Yeah. Bear with me guys, I'll just share this out so that um, everyone can find me. I'm not used to going live and I forgot about having to set my orientation. So it's like... Where are we? Manage my videos. So I'm super excited that I got my pre-order this morning and I've been waiting all day to come and show everyone this one. I'll just find the link. Um, yeah, so, sorry, I'm just working on things here. Uh, what am I after here? This one. Um, anyway. Who have we got here? No one's here yet? I'll just wait around. Hopefully, um, oh, God. <laughs> Are we? Yes, we're live. We've got. I can't see any comments, guys. Sorry, I've got three people here. Oh, close your eyes. And for some reason, oh, sorry, I am not used to technology, and I do not have. Hello, Eda. Bless you, little cotton socks. You've managed to find me. All right. Look, my camera is not straight. Um, all right, so I'll just wait a bit longer and we'll see if see what can happen here. I need to go. All right, so just bear with. Um, as soon as I know that there's a few more on board, I will make a start. Oh, technology. It's just crap. I need to edit this one. I don't know whether I've done that right, but anyway. All right, guys, who have I got watching? Welcome, everyone. Um, my name is Monica Formosa, and I'm an independent stamping up demonstrator here in the Wide Bay area of Queensland, Australia. I hope... My phone is saying I'm live, but... Nothing else is happening and I cannot, I cannot, cannot see anything. Let's go here. So, oh my God, there's seven watching. So thank you so much for being here. Um, I cannot see any comments at this stage, so I might just make a start. Where are comments? Here we go. Oh, now I can see comments of Refresh will view wonders. All right, hello, Ellen. Hello, Lisa. Hello, Ida. Hi, Bev. Ida, you should be in bed. Just saying. 
Hi Heather, welcome to have you here Heather. Um, great, great that you could join me and Diane, I might have to go soon sadly, sure, that's fine. I am live, thank you Ida. Hi Vicky, watching footy at the same time. Ooh. And um, Heather, and I know Janice was here in my earlier one, but I don't know whether she'll find me again. Anyway, okay, let's make a start. Um, it's a little bit tricky. Um, I can't get my camera up any higher than what it is, but I will open up the big, big brown box and show you what I managed to get in my pre-order. These are the new five in colors. Uh, we have Pretty in Pink, which is a returning favorite. Um, a beautiful peach pie, which is very close to the um, um, Pantone color of the year, if that's how they say it, I'm not sure. Shy Shamrock, which is a very um, bluey green. Summer Splash, which is very similar, but more bluer, a little bit on the blue side. And this beautiful Petunia petunia pop which is like a, a pinky purple um and i'm thinking this color will be almost be whatever depending on what you team it with will be how it dominates and i've got nowhere to put it okay so um i did also stock up on daffodil to light because and vellum because they were getting a bit low in my cupboard Okay, this is um, a new colour, basic beige, that Stamping Up have brought out. Um, I have got a comparison here and I will show you that later when I have a little bit more room. So I managed to get a um, pack of cardstock and the Stampin' Pad. Unfortunately, I don't have the stamp, stamp pads for the other in colours as yet. Hi Janice. Thank you for being here. Um, are you jet lagged at all? Because um, I know you've just had a big trip back to Scotland. Uh, okay, Heather, not a problem. I'll catch you again later. I'll probably catch you tomorrow um, at, in um, in Ruth's live. Okay, all right. So, and I did. I didn't think I got these, but I did end up buying these. I think I put them in my. Um, in my cart as a stamp and reward so I spent over $250 and when you do that you get 10% in stamp and rewards and I think that was added um, in my stamp and rewards okay um, what else did I stock up on uh, linen thread I've got two of those because I use that a lot and I've got a bottle of the lost lagoon re -inker, which I realised um, a couple of weeks ago that I didn't have. Uh, a Wink of Stella. Lots of, good, Karen, lots of um, goodies, Karen, absolutely. <laughs> um, lots of goodies. It's very exciting this time of year. I probably spent a little bit more than what I, what I should have. Okay, I've got this, the blends in all the five in colours. So this order is predominantly um, all the new in colours. So I've got the blends um, in each of those colours. Um, we can do a bit of a, a test. Uh, stocked up on some white envelopes. Because they will always come in handy. And I think there's a price rise on those coming... Um, coming 1st of May or whenever the new catalogue goes live. Okay, so I got, I bought, let me see, I'm trying to find my catalogue and it's gone missing because I've got stuff everywhere. Now, here we go. All right, now I can't show you the inside of the catalogue as yet. Alright, so 
There is a, um, where are we? A Mega Sweet. I think they. Um, so there's a, a huge Mega Sweet called Country Woods. And these are part of that. So there's the Country Birdhouse stamp set. with dies and it looks like there's um, design elements as well as dies that will cut out some of the images which is awesome and then country flowers this has a lot of potential having open open images that will be able to color um, any way that um, is your favorite way of coloring you know like uh, you can color with your pencils you can color with your blends um, you can um, grab um, pick up your ink using the blender pens so that will be I'm, I'm keen to have a go with that and again we've got dies that will cut out the images and then these floral floral dyes that are standalone and possibly a little bit of foliage as well by the looks of that so that that'll be nice can't wait to play with that oh Karen you are sneaky Shh. I'll try not to talk too loud like everyone else okay I'm slowly running out of room um, this is the beautiful ribbon that comes with that. So there's this, um, I think this would be blushing bra, uh, not blushing bra, we don't have that anymore. Uh, petal pink and then the same in white. It has this lovely texture. Um, and it makes... It makes a lovely bow and it's not too wide, which is nice. So that looks lovely. Okay. And then let me see if I can find the papers that go with that. There's two lots of papers. Now, had I been organized, I would have had this cut open. Um, there's these distressed, aged, timber, painted, um, and then a stripe. I am slowly running out of room. Um, we've got the, this white, whitewashed, and then a darker one. Um, I can see these being really popular at Christmas time for your Christmas cards. Uh, with a nice wreath or something down the track. Um, there's always some kind of wreath bundle in the Christmas in the in Christmas mini catalog that we get and this beautiful again and like a gray okay so where's my little sheet the colors in that one the colors where are we basic beige which is the new neutral basic gray come cray come cr crumb cake i'll just spit it out in a minute early espresso gray granite misty moonlight pecan pie petal park Pool Party, Smoky Slate and Wild Wheat. Now normally there's only um, roughly six colours um, feature in a feature in a um, packet of pack of DSP designer paper, but um, there's a whole heap in that one, so um, yeah, very interesting. Can't wait to get all the new colours. Yeah, Janice, um, they are quite pretty. And um, I'm kind of glad that they've gone with a, 
were semi-bright again, like um, we, they, they were taking away all those lovely bright ones and then um, they've given us, like they're not, they're not super bright, but they're bright and cheerful by all means. All right, so um, these are the other set of papers that come with that suite. Um, so one side will be um, have a more defined pattern and the other one will be a little bit more subtle, I'm thinking. So very much, very pretty. And that'll go with, there's a, um, an eyelet 3D embossing folder. So we've got Misty Moonlight, I would imagine, I think that looks like. And then, um, oh, is that the new peach or is that um, Petal Park? Uh, Petal Park? Um, petal pink. Not quite sure there. Um, another beautiful lacy design and then um, a, a grey. And um, some of these could definitely be used on masculine cards, which is handy. All right, so this I would imagine is the new um, beige. Oh, this is gorgeous. This is really my kind of paper. It is just beautiful, I have to say. And then a, and then a stripe, can we see that? And then we have, again, so one pack of paper is both feminine and masculine, most definitely. So that is gorgeous. Love it. I can see that being used a lot right down my alley. What colours have we got? Basic beige, misty moonlight, petal pink and smoky slate. Lovely. Absolutely gorgeous. Yummo. Okay. Um, now, there was a embossing folder. And I need to show you. Where's that embossing folder? Oh, I've lost it. Because I had them, I had them out earlier. Dude, making up my labels. And now I have... Dies, there's dies, there's dies, and there's no. Oh, what the heck have I done with them? Oh, well, that's. That is very awkward because I bought two lots of embossing folders and now they've gone missing. They're not in my box, so what have I done with them? Oh, dang it. Uh, okay, sorry, but they're not here. Okay, this next one um, is a three product bundle. You get a set of masks and I can't wait to play with these. Um, my beautiful friend, um, Bernie. Now, she's on the Colour Inspiration team with me. She presented these at um, in Melbourne. So these are all numbered. One, two, three, four, five. So there's five. You get three. Just wondering whether I can, whether that will show up on a piece of cardstock. Maybe not. Three different... Layers for the flowers. No, that's not going to show. So there's three different layers. You've got um, the, a full background. And then you've got um, a little bit more detail. And then the finer detail that goes in the center of your flowers. And then there's two leaves. Two for the leaves which is always handy. And I love how they've numbered them. Um, so we've got three, you're not confused as to which one goes next. So you do your flowers first and then your leaves. So that'll be, 
That'll be really good. Uh, what else is in this one? So you have the stamp set. And again, this is an open image. So um, if you like to play with colour, uh, this will be super exciting. Um, again, you can use all types of different colouring techniques with that one. And then the dies. found my, my um, embossing folders and sorry Lisa Atley they weren't on my left okay so this is super exciting where's my stamp set so I absolutely love this this is a this is the full-sized image and you've got an outline a die oh this is like super super sticky Right, so this one will, when I find the right way, so this is going to cut out this way. This is going to cut out, nope, oh, yeah, maybe I had it right the first time. This will cut out this image somehow. Oh, no, I don't know. This um, here maybe no that's not it either anyway this way there we go all right so that's going to cut out that one but then you have this one that will cut out this large rose here all on its own and that's why the the lines don't join up with everything so yeah I want to play with that a lot you picked a whole bunch of things with the first two stamps and then put them on yeah yeah you're right Bev that's where they were oh excuse me are we straight not at all let me my phone is come on just behave yourself oh Close your eyes, guys. I'm going to try and get you a bit more level. All right. Okay. I'm not sure whether that's... Anyway. Okay. So, next one um, was Unbounded Love. Um, now, I got this oh, because I spent so much money. This was my half price item. Shh, don't tell my bank manager. He won't be happy. And this is gorgeous. Like you've got all these la different label dies as well as um, a few little standalone bits and pieces. And these beautiful, uh, very um, multi occasional kind of stamp set that are um, very versatile. Have a blessed day with sympathy, friend. Feel better soon. You've got this. Best of luck. So that is a very, very handy one to have in the kit. Um, these, I believe, belong to that um, suite that I showed you. Um, the... Um, Oh, what was it called? I haven't, I don't even know the names of things yet, which is, which is awful. Uh, what's it called? Not the layers of beauty. Anyway, I can't even find it in the book. Okay, so these are, I want to show you this. This There is a new size in the embossing folders and these are huge but I'm quite excited about this because it means I'll get this one out there so this is the Islet 3D embossing folder and it's the standard size that we have and when you want to emboss you put your piece of cardstock in you run it through and Bob's your uncle okay so that's 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 gorgeous like that's that's the eyelet 
3D embossing folder, which goes with that suite. This one, not so much. It's huge. Like, this is the comparison. You've got an inch and a half extra and, you know, at least maybe two and a half inches at the top. I don't know whether you can see that, sorry. But it's huge. But having them this big means that you can offset your cardstock. So if you only want, you can have it here, you can have it in the center, you can have it wherever you like, basically. And it just gives you so many more options. And that's great. You know, we're not, we're not being painted into a corner and we don't, yeah, so that's great. Okay, um, and then I've just got some grid paper because I was almost out. Um, all right, so that's just some new grid paper. And that's it. That's all, I, all I've got. But I wanted to give a colour comparison with the new basic beige. All right, so this is the basic beige. We have a white. And then we have the vanilla. So that's what we've got there. Okay, so then we have also grey granite. And we have our light grey, which is smoky slate. And our crumb cake, which is also a colour that we've got in our neutral range. And this is... Am I running out of room? And this is the old retired Sahara sand, um, which is almost a stamped off or a second generation tone of Sahara sand. Um, if you've still got Sahara sand in your uh, stash, I would definitely use these two together. Um, um, I think the crumb cake could be a little bit too warm for this, um, you know, but never say never. There'll, there'd be a, um, I'll leave that out. Sorry, guys. All right, so that's your, that's your beige. There's your vanilla. Grey granite, smoky slate and crumb cake and your white. So that's your white. Great for scrapbooking. Yes, Vicky, I think so too. All right. Um, all right, does anyone have any questions? Um, I can get out my blends if you'd like to do a, do a color swatch. While I'm here. All right, so what have we got here? Um, uh, pretty in pink so that's your dark and that's your light just let them settle down a bit we have dark uh, petunia pop which will be absolutely fabulous and then the light oh I can see Ellen using those a lot Jazz! oh my god Jazz! have you um have you recuperated from your big trip I hope you're okay uh, what have we got this? This time is the dark peach pie. Oh, nice to have you here, Shaz. And then the light. Uh, summer splash have I got here? Yes, summer splash. Let's do... That's the dark. And this is the light. 
can you tell me is the pop a shade of berry burst? I will. I will get some cardstock and um, have a look because I really haven't had a good look. Okay, so we have Pretty in Pink. What's this one? Petunia Pop, Peach Pie. So we've got two, two pies in our color range come May. Dark, uh, sorry, Summer Splash. And then um, Shy Shamrock, which is a very shamrocky color. Let me grab a piece of Berry Burst. And let me find Oh, look at that. I think um, they will look awesome together, Karen. Can you see that? How good does that look? Oh, ooh la la. So, yeah. That's great, Shaz. I'm glad that um, on the screen, I can see on my screen that um, this is... Um, it looks a bit much more purple on my screen, but in real life, it's it's um, almost a stamped off version of the Berry Burst, so they will definitely work well together. So okay, all right. Um, but that's it. That's about it. Yeah, I know, Kit Karen. It looks amazing. Um, and see, these colours have now settled down a bit, so they. Um, they will look great too. Um, I did have a sheet while we were at on stage. Um, they let us do some stamping and, and, and stuff with the new ink colours. So that was good, but I can't put my hand on the sheets at the moment that we did up. Okay, all right guys, well I'm gonna say good night because there's a few of you here that need to go to bed. Um, not saying any names, <laughs> either. She said to me this afternoon, she says, I want to be there. And I said, you should be in bed. <laughs> oh, Ida, love you too, girlfriend. You're amazing. All right, guys, I'm going to say good night. Thank you so much for being here. Um, I have a few new subscribers. So if you're watching this and not saying too much, thank you so much for subscribing. Um, uh, it's been... Um, it's been great having you here, even though you're not commenting. But yes, and uh, if you've got any friends you think might like to see what I have, um, that what arrived in my box today, please share. And a thumbs up would be really amazing too, just so that um, that algorithm can work for me. All right, guys. Take care, everyone. And um, we will catch you all again soon. Bye for now.